So today, what are we talking of? We are talking of all the kinds of um, shortcomings that we have, you know, that we may feel that we have, which does not allow us to uh, reach out and be the original and authentic self that we need to be with love and devotion. So there are many things, you know, that we feel uh, restrict us. It would be thinking that I have too many flaws or the people think I have too many flaws. I make too many mistakes. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not loved enough. Everybody hates me. Yeah. Or at the same time, something in you makes you judge everybody around you. And that judgment is actually not of the world. That judgment is what you are going through. That judgment is what you are feeling and expressing or, 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 or just becoming a victim of. And it becomes such a habit that when people point out something to you, that these are your shortcomings, you don't see them. You think the others are trying to malign you or literally attack you or ruin your reputation or make you a laughing stock or make you feel unworthy or make you feel, you know, that you do not belong. So there could be many reasons, many um, uh, emotions and things that we create within ourselves that just do not allow us to accept and embrace our shortcomings so that we understand, okay, this is something that is missing in us. And because once we accept and embrace it, we know that we are capable of understanding it completely and offering the world the same love and devotion that we expect from the world. So expectations are always there. What others should do for you, including love and devotion. Now, devotion and love is not just between, uh, you know, a, 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 a partner or a man or a woman. Love is of a different kind. First of all, it is not love. Do you love yourself enough to accept that, okay, this is a fault in me? So what if my skin color is, well, brown? So what if um, right now I'm not uh, absolutely a thin and slim person? So what if I'm not, my hair is not that beautiful? So what if I do get angry once in a while? As long as that is with awareness. And I have the capacity to apologize and ask the other person for a pardon. Do I get into the blame games? Do I want to blame everybody else for everything wrong in my life? He did it. She did it. They did it. The house did it. The boss did it. The colleagues did it. There are so many did it that we keep trying to add on in our lives. And this always comes because when you don't feel loved enough, when you don't feel that you are devoted to everything that you stand for, which means it's not just devotion and selfless towards God. First of all, you have to be selfless and worthy of yourself. And secondly, you have to be able to do all those actions that are needed with humility, with grace, with dignity, with love. And that is devotion. Isn't that how you worship your, your gods or, you know, your gurus? Grace, dignity, uh, love, and with faith and integrity. But wh why do we go through this? Why do we not understand that unless we learn to accept and embrace all that is happening in our life, we cannot accept and embrace anything that is projected, told to us, or what we experience. Everything becomes faulty. And when things are seen as faulty, you 
go through that unfortunate cycle of frustration, boredom, fear, regrets, guilt, you name it. They're all there. Do we need it? We don't. What do we want to do with it? Let's find out today with our recitation and discover those aspects. So what we'll do, as I said earlier, even if the video switches off suddenly, don't go away. We will log back immediately and continue the conversation because after the recitation also, I'm sure there'll be many points that you'd like to discuss based on the recitation, okay? So let's go forward with it. Close your eyes. Take a deep, deep breath. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in positivity, love, faith, integrity, and breathe out all your stresses, frustrations, anxieties, and the energies that do not resonate with you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Invoke your healing masters, healing guides, healing angels, your higher consciousness, radical consciousness, love consciousness, Prosperity Consciousness, the teachers, mentors, gurus, and guides. Seek their support, seek their guidance, seek their understanding, and seek their blessing. As you continue this road and journey of discovering the best of you, understanding what love and devotion is and letting go of the shortcomings that you think are stopping you in such a way that the journey ahead becomes easy and effortless as you continue to connect to the prime resource energy. Collect all your personal thoughts from wherever they are in the universe. See them, feel them, entering you, centering you. And with this, take a deep breath and let's learn to accept and embrace our shortcomings and awaken what we need to in our lives. So recite with me. I accept and embrace my perceived shortcomings and flaws. I accept and embrace my perceived shortcomings and flaws. I accept and embrace my perceived shortcomings and flaws. I accept and embrace my need to mask my shortcomings and flaws. I accept and embrace my need to mask my shortcomings and flaws. I accept and embrace my need to feel the unloved one. I accept and embrace my need to feel the unloved one. I accept and embrace my need to feel the unloved one. I accept and embrace my feeling of 
bitterness. I accept and embrace my feelings of bitterness towards myself and others. I accept and embrace my feelings of bitterness towards myself and others. I accept and embrace my judgment of others for feeling ignored. I accept and embrace my judgment of others for feeling ignored. I accept and embrace my judgment of others for feeling ignored. I accept and embrace my frustration. I accept and embrace my frustration. I accept and embrace my frustration. I accept and embrace my grudges about myself and others. I accept and embrace my grudges about myself and others. I accept and embrace my grudges about myself and others. I accept and embrace my guilt of self-pity. I accept and embrace my guilt of self-pity. I accept and embrace my guilt of self-pity. I accept and embrace my rejection of myself and others. I accept and embrace my rejection of myself and others. I accept and embrace my rejection of myself and others. I accept and embrace my egoistic behavior masking my weakness. I accept and embrace my egoistic behavior masking my weakness. I accept and embrace my egoistic behavior masking my weakness. I accept and embrace my pride which makes me defend my inadequacy and incompetency. I accept and embrace my pride which makes me defend my inadequacy and incompetency. I accept and embrace my pride which makes me defend my inadequacy and incompetency. I accept and embrace my regret of doing wrong that makes me self-righteous. I accept and embrace my regret of doing wrong that makes me self-righteous. I accept and embrace my regret of doing wrong that makes me self-righteous. I accept and embrace my need to compare myself to mask my feeling of being small. I accept and embrace my need to compare myself to mask my feeling of being small. 
I accept and embrace my need to compare myself to mask my feeling of being small. I accept and embrace my association of masking my flow, my my flaws with growth. I accept and embrace my association of masking my flaws with growth. I accept and embrace my association of masking my flaws with growth. I accept and embrace my fear of being proved incompetent, incompetent or wrong. I accept and embrace my fear of being proved incompetent or wrong. I accept and embrace my fear of being proved incompetent or wrong. I accept and embrace my fear of losing love. I accept and embrace my fear of losing love. I accept and embrace my fear of losing love. I accept and embrace my need to prove my worthiness by masking my flaws. I accept and embrace my need to prove my worthiness by masking my flaws. I accept and embrace my need to prove my worthiness for masking my flaws. I accept and embrace my regret of letting my ego, pride, build barriers in my relationships. I accept and embrace my re regret of letting my ego and pride build barriers in my relationships. I accept and embrace my regret of letting my ego and pride build barriers in my relationships. I accept and embrace my regret of judging others for being egoistic, proud, and righteous. I accept and embrace my regret of judging others for being egoistic, proud, and righteous. I accept my regret of judging others for being egoistic, proud, and righteous. I accept and embrace my ego, pride, and righteousness creating barriers in my relationships. I accept and embrace my ego, pride, and righteousness creating barriers in my relationships. I accept and embrace my ego, pride, and righteousness creating barriers in my relationships. I accept and embrace my need to admit the defenses that I have built. I accept and embrace my need to admit to the defenses that I have built. I accept and embrace my need to admit to the defenses that I have built. I accept and embrace my need for courage 
to admit to the defenses I have built. I accept and embrace my need for courage to admit to the defenses I have built. I accept and embrace my need for courage to admit to the defenses that I have built. I accept and embrace my need to stop trying to change people. I accept and embrace my need to stop trying to change people. I accept and embrace my need to complement others' weaknesses through my strength. I accept and embrace my need to complement others' weaknesses through my strength. I accept and embrace my need to complement others' weaknesses through my strength. I accept and embrace my need to recognize and constructively address my flaws. I accept and embrace my need to recognize and constructively address my flaws. I accept and embrace my need to recognize constructively and address my flaws. I accept and embrace 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 my self-love. I accept and embrace my self-love. I accept and embrace my self-love. I accept and embrace my kindness to myself and others. I accept and embrace my kindness to myself and others. I accept and embrace my kindness to myself and others. I accept and embrace my devotion and understanding. I accept and embrace my devotion and understanding. I accept and embrace my devotion and understanding. Take a deep breath. I see my devotion and understanding. I feel my love, devotion and understanding. I acknowledge my love, devotion and understanding. I love and accept my love, devotion, and understanding. I honor my love, devotion, and understanding. I honor the brilliance in my love, devotion, and understanding. I am my love, devotion, and understanding and my love, devotion, understanding is me. I see my love, devotion and understanding. I feel my love, devotion and understanding. I acknowledge my love, devotion and understanding. 
I love and accept my love, devotion, and understanding. I honor my love, devotion, and understanding. I honor the brilliance in my love, devotion, and understanding. I am my devotion, love, and understanding. And my love, devotion, understanding is me. Take another deep breath to absorb this. And then affirm with me. I passionately and peacefully progress with understanding, love and devotion to myself and others. I passionately and peacefully progress with understanding, love and devotion for myself and others. I passionately and peacefully progress with understanding, love and devotion for myself and others. Take a deep breath again to absorb this. And now feel all the messages, all the affirmations today of acceptance and embracing, filling up your mind, body, and soul, and every part of your body, and your organs, muscles, cells. And when you feel a sense of completion, take a deep breath to absorb it and you can open your eyes. Take your time. Any thoughts, any feelings, any emotions, any questions, anything you'd like to discuss? Raise your hands and I'll call you one by one. All right, so who was first? This is Natanya. Yes, Natanya, what's your question? Ma'am, as I was reciting with you, I was not able to resonate very well with all the affirmations that you said. Somewhere mm -hmm. beneath I felt a ripple, a very strong ripple I felt with the statements mm -hmm. that uh, I was uh, reciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a distraction, definitely, to some extent as well. Okay, okay. So what happens, you see, we are all very, the, the ego and the pride and the righteousness that all of us have, mm -hmm. that is very strong. And do we see our shortcomings? We're not easily, we're not ready to see them. Correct. We mm -hmm. are not able, uh, and we are not able to perceive them also because mm -hmm. um, we don't know it. It has become a part of our growing up. It has become a part of our conditioning. It can also be a part of our beliefs that may have come from, you know, anywhere, right from childhood, right through college, right through friends, right through relationships, anywhere. So haven't you noticed if somebody tells you, uh, you know, you talk very offensively and you immediately, you know, start reacting and saying, how dare they say that? I'm perfectly fine. They're just out to find fault with me. But if many people are saying the same thing over and over again, then we need to introspect where is it that, what is it that we are doing that is making mm -hmm. the other people feel repulsed by us. When I say repulsed, I don't mean in the bad way, but mm -hmm. I mean that, you know, that they want to stay away from you. Haven't you also, all mm -hmm. of us commented on others by saying, you know, no point talking to that person or no point going to their house she is very toxic or her family is toxic or whatever. We are yes, judging yes. others. Correct. Yeah? We mm -hmm. judge others. But mm -hmm. at the same time, uh, what happens is that we are not able to see that mm -hmm. we are adding to those emotions. Let's accept them the way they are. 
if they are toxic oh, people okay. it's okay yeah. okay it's it's their story remember it is yes, not my yes, story yes. correct yes i remember so, now it's hmm. it's like let me give you another very simple cute example it's like okay. a potato <laughs> okay aloo potato ha huh? ha huh? huh? and i'm sure if we all ask you you know to make a sukhi sabji or uh, potato uh, mm-hmm. try you know potatoes every mm-hmm. one of us will have a different way of making it it Correct. may be similar but it will mm-hmm. still be different recipe so does it different. mean yeah recipe maybe it's the same maybe it's mm-hmm. the same for spices mm-hmm. maybe it is the same for uh, i don't know the oil or whatever else everything maybe it's all boiled potatoes and then cook but mm. what is happening is everyone has their own way of cooking it so is Very there wrong. wrong no it is not wrong is ours wrong or is ours is the only one which is the best no it is not so yeah the only thing that can be different is the level of spice somebody can be very spicy and somebody can be less spicy but the potato <laughs> and its cooking everything so similarly for all of us as mm-hmm. an example it is mm-hmm. important to understand that it's okay that is their story we do not have to get into their stories and judgments for their behaviors because we are actually judging ours and that is why we are brought into this scenario to see that this is what it is look within yourself because when we see that we generate reaction or thoughts or mm-hmm. decisions okay. or beliefs whatever right mm-hmm. it's all okay nothing is wrong get it got it got it uh, so if you are having resistance right now it may be because somewhere mm-hmm. these energies are still well floating Correct. inside and yes. there will always be a resistance to let it go you cannot mm-hmm. let it go very easily correct yes sometimes you see some people their egos never leave them they live a whole life with their ego <laughs> very they, true yeah but what do they do in the process probably the people who matter start living mm-hmm. their lives may not be there around them all the time right mm-hmm. so anyway that's just an example does that answer your question natanya yes yes it does it does now i understand why uh, the ripple is there because yeah. obviously as you have explained uh, ma'am one more thing is there uh, i'm aware that i also have something in me and that mm-hmm. is why i don't have acceptance this is also what i feel is there okay. any statement please can you provide me so that actually i can repeat it in my mind and i can reprogram it that is very simple very simple for all of us it's mm-hmm. okay to be okay all right that's a very okay. short and sweet absolutely it's okay to be okay because oh. we're not giving ourselves permission to be okay because of mm. the resistance got it get it so it's that okay to be sense. okay yeah simple okay. and sweet for all of us yeah hana thank you so much ma'am <laughs> you're welcome okay uh then we have mansi yes mansi thank you so much <clears throat> i was just thinking in these lines and we did this today's session and i resonated with each and every word though i could not completely close my eyes and do it but uh, every time those words were like you know reminding me how exactly i'm like expecting or looking for some kind of validation from others and you know realigning with all those things it was very beautiful so i'll definitely go through the recording in case if i'm able to get those No, no. The uh-huh. recording will be available on Radical Insights on the YouTube, and it'll also be available on my personal channel. And uh, no. so, or, you know, it will. I would like to have there. the link because I'm. I think attending for the first time your uh, uh, session, okay. and uh, okay. surprisingly, it was very, very nice. The one which I really so wanted to write. <laughs> in terms, like you know, no more validation. The yeah, you know, you know. something like that i'm like ek 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 aisa lag raha tha you were opening the pages and reading me maine kaha abhi so you know 
So Mansi, firstly, you said surprisingly, so thank you for that. I don't know yeah. what that means exactly. But yeah, we have been having full some Friday. We took a break because Atman was doing another program at the same time. But every Friday, and it is not just recitation, we also had fun things over here. And uh, Abhi, because we and now we, I think we found a formula, uh, Apurva. So, you know, we can sort of spread our time because of the limitation of time, but we'll break it into two parts so that everybody gets the benefit of it. So we do a lot of things here. We also do Antakshari over here, by the way. So it's a oh, great wow. fun platform. That's why we call it. Oh, you know, I sing, and I love singing. Well, I knew it. It came to me energetically. <laughs> no, Your anti <laughs> Well, I think radical teaches us that, you know, to be sensitized and sensitive to our surroundings. And the consciousness, because it is connect, connecting us, all of us, so there's reason enough to understand that a lot more is needed because we do have recitations, we do have open houses, we do have uh, um, chakra readings, etc. Everything happens. So, but we also want to tell you that we do have fun also. Yeah? So no worries. I was just so, wondering, like, why did I even, you know, talking about someone today morning with so much of expectation, we do certain things. So, yeah. 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 So, Start loving yourself and you'll love everything yeah. around you. Sure. Thank you. Start so much. giving Thank devotion you to yourself. Yeah. So then things start working for you. Yeah. So maybe okay. ek chota sa baby sa chahiye. It's okay to be okay. <laughs> or something similar to how yeah, to love aaj, myself. Aaj, aaj ke liye yehi kafi hai sab ke liye, that it's okay to be okay. To be okay. Yeah. yeah. Unless yeah. you're okay with everything around you, that I'm sad, I'm short, I'm dark. I don't have, you know, I'm not able to go out so much. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. not able to provide. I, you know, people stare at me. People make fun of me, blah, blah, blah. There's so many things we surround ourselves with. Now, just think of all that and just tell yourself it's okay to be okay. Yeah. yeah. It's it's just that cool. many a things with before even coming to this field, honestly, uh, till 2019, I was not even aware of all these things. But many things whichever I've been suggesting people, it has turned out to be true for them in future. But they did not accept at that time. I was reminding you do this and then they were like, yeah, but we know it won't happen kind of thing. So it's not resistance. And I, I was like, you know, and why you always like make me feel that, you know, you yeah. know, so, yeah, make me feel because if we believe in ourselves and if we are doing everything in integrity and with love, devotion and faith, there is no reason because you see they are fighting their resistances. They are not fighting yeah. you. So no, and no, they because are it has been yeah. yeah. When I say fighting, I'm talking in terms of energetically. When uh, um you see they already manifested it at that time, but the completion or fulfillment of it was to take it's time as to when it is to happen. So it's okay mm -hmm. again. To, it's okay. That's fine. Yeah. Right. It's okay to be okay. Exactly. I'm loving it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Uh, next we have Lakshmi. Yes, Lakshmi. Tell me. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was wonderful. And I Thank could you. have the visions. I could see the visions of partition. Uh, uh -huh. Hindustan Pakistan okay. partition I, as okay. my grandparents came from there only so they lost okay. almost everything there mm -hmm. so I could feel the, uh, that pain and uh, as you started within a five minute I was just throwing out something from my space I, I was not aware what is it just mm -hmm. I was just pushing out something and mm -hmm. later on I was pushing out from my aura also gradually Beautiful. I could see the bloodshed everything as if something mm -hmm. Uh, is being snatched from the hands and everything the jewelry is gone so all those visions were there and slowly slowly gradually i could see the light everything settled so, uh, out something yeah lakshmi i'd like you to also say i let go go and i let i let go and i flow with the flow of life because I maybe let let go, go no i let okay, go i let go and mm -hmm. i flow and I and flow, I flow, 
with the flow of life. With the flow of life. Yeah. Why I'm saying this is because if there's such a strong uh, traumatic memory has come up, maybe it is uh, some you know sort of ancestral karmic or past life uh, energy programming that has awakened. Okay. Yes. But it's nothing to worry about. Just say I let go and I let flow with the flow of life. So much. Uh, Ma'am, daily I write this affirmation for last um, 15 days or so. I lovingly flow with the flow of my life. Fantastic. So then I continue can with that. In. Continue with that. And okay. that. You can just add, I okay. let go. Okay, I, I will add go, on this. I let go and I lovingly flow with the flow of life. Oh, with the flow of my life. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Not the flow of my life. Life. J J J flow of life only. Okay. Huh. I let go. And I lovingly flow with the flow mm. of life. Okay? Okay, ma'am. I'll do that. Yeah. Thank Great. you. Welcome. Anybody else having any questions or anything else you'd like to ask me? So I can ask one more. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So just yeah. that uh, I do not like uh, people staring at me, especially the opposite sex. I get mm -hmm. terribly annoyed. Mm -hmm. uh, so work uh, on your annoyance because uh, uh, why should you feel somebody is staring at you? There may be, again, as I said, some inner child in childhood or in some beliefs and conditionings which are sitting inside which can't be done here. Are you doing the curriculum, Vitas Mansi? You are doing I've done EMI. I'm repeating it uh, with Atman, ma'am. I was with her just a few minutes back. Right. So not to yeah. worry. You can go to open house also. That is available for premium members. Yeah. If you're not a premium member, please join because the amount of benefit you have with all the open house activities that we have are uh, premium act in the premium group. That will be really beneficial for all of you, right? Whoever is not a member. So it would be a good idea. And if uh, there's a possibility, there could be some inner child. There could be a possibility there is some trauma associated with look, people looking at you. Yeah, right? lots of. Yeah. So right now you can just say, I accept and embrace uh, uh, literally people looking at me. I accept and embrace it. Dek rahe hai na? Dek nahi to. Kya kar mm -hmm. It's okay to be okay, no? Because yeah. if you love yourself and if you are complete and if you are fulfilled energetically, mm -hmm. physically, mentally, emotionally, then nothing matters. Nothing matters yeah. at all. Okay? But all of us, by the way, it takes a journey to reach there. So don't think it's up to overnight. Ho jayega, aisa nahi hota hai. So yeah. it will take time. But yeah. Okay. So that should help you. Uh, and accept and embrace the people people looking at me. Simple. Don't have to go into too many uh, complications yeah. about it. Okay. Sure. Only thing is when they look at you, how does it make you feel? Uh, I, I get a yucky feeling. I don't know why. I Sorry? Just get I get a yucky feeling when they look at me. Okay. So you can also I work with... Up, so I feel that, you know, uh, I mean, I'm not that... Ki, uh, koi aise palat ke dekne like to mera nahi hai. So that... I don't uh, know. Uh, I dekho, you just said it. Koi palat yeah. ke dekne like mera chahra nahi hai. So I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say that bhai palat ke dekne ke zarurat padhe. Aisa. Mera kehne ka matlab hai. Not that I was like... Uh, no, no, it's okay, Mansi. This is one of the uh, points that we raised with the whole this uh, recitation today. Self-love sure. nahi hota hai, na? That is why we go through all this also. That you think that I'm not worthy of looking at... I mean, why should people look at me? Why are they looking at me? I'm not, not even worthy. I mean, I'm not like you, why are they looking at me? So, we say, what are we doing to ourselves? We are... Firstly, condemning ourselves. We are judging ourselves. We are, in a way, mentally abusing ourselves. Like I am, 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 I am,
एडमायर करो मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सो सेल्फ लव इसमें से आज इसमें रेसिटेशन में देर इज अ सेंटेंस आल्सो फॉर सेल्फ लव बी काइंड टू योर सेल्फ लव योर सेल्फ या तो ऐसे कर करके इट इज ग्रेजुअली वर्क नो वरीज ओके so i think that was it and thank you so much all of you for being here and yes we'll meet again next friday next friday we'll do something fun no worries okay all the best have a great weekend bye bye